welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me on another episode of Prime Math Zoom. Today, we will be focusing on finding the parameter of regular polygons. So let's take a look. What is a regular polygon? This type of polygon has all the sides equal. Can you think of any such polygon? Yes, a triangle, but not any triangle, an equilateral triangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, a heptagon, an octagon, a nonagon, and a decagon. Of course, there are others, but we're just going to stop here for today. Let us try finding the parameter of an equilateral triangle. Given one side of this equilateral triangle to be 45 centimeter, what will the parameter be? Now here is an equilateral triangle. And as it is said, there we have 45 centimeters for one side. But what do we know of an equilateral triangle? Hmm. Let's think about it. Yes, an equilateral triangle has all the sides measuring the same length. So if we know that of an equilateral triangle, how could we approach finding the parameter of this such triangle? All right, let's take a look. Yes, we could add 45 for one side, 45 for another side, and 45 for the third side to get the parameter. Because remember, parameter is adding up all the sides. And when we total all these sides, we get 135 centimeter. But is that the only way? Okay, we could do that. Or we could do this. We could multiply 45 centimeters by three sides. And that will also give us 135 centimeters. But why did we multiply by three sides? Brilliant. We multiplied by three sides because there are three sides in an equilateral triangle. And each of the sides measure 45 centimeters. Great job. Now, let us see how this is applicable to our real life situation. Here, Color Industry is putting on a walkathon. The community that they will be walking around shapes like this picture below. Yes, of course we know what this shape is. What shape is it again? Yes, a uh, an octagon with one of the sides measuring 315 meters. Now, if we want to know how far you, um, a person, one person would walk, we have to take a lot of things in consideration. Now here, this octagon is not just any octagon. It's a regular octagon. And we want to know how long the journey is. Can you tell us how we could find how long the journey is? Of course, we know that in finding the parameter, we must find the sum of all the sides of the figure. And in this case, we have eight sides. But what do we know about these eight sides? Yes, these eight sides, they all measure the same. They all measure 315 meters each. So in order to find the parameter, we could do what? Yes, we could add 315 meters eight times, or we can do a shortcut like this. We could multiply 315 meters by eight sides, and that would give us 
a product of 2,520 meters. All right, here goes. Phil bought a piece of land that shapes like a regular pentagon. He wants to build a wall around it. How long must the entire wall be? First, you have to take out your pencil and your book and you are going to draw the plot of land. What important information do you have to take in consideration? Good job, yes, the piece of land shapes like a regular pentagon. That means you will have a pentagon, which is a five-sided five figure, and all the sides must have the same length. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to work out the total length of the wall, which is also called the perimeter. So I'm going to give you some time to work it out. Tell us now how you worked the perimeter. All right. Now, this is how I worked it. First, I drew up my pentagonal piece of land. Yes, all five sides have the same distance, the same length. And I know that to find the perimeter, I will have to be going around this piece of land. And in doing so, I actually gave one of my side a length. But if we know exactly what a regular pentagon is, we'll also know that each of these sides are also six meters. So given that we know all of that, I would have added my six meters five times, or I would just multiply my six meters by five sides. And that would give me a product of 30 meters. Good job today, guys. See you next time. Please like and subscribe.